Huh. Okay, so... They told me to come here. Uh-huh. And um, they wanted me to go get some gold for them. Huh. Alright. I wish they gave me some more instructions other than just arrive here and try to collect gold. Uh, hello there, sir. Uh, I guess I get in and... I could walk this, like, probably. Uh, you know what? Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 okay. Uh. Whoa! Uh, try, okay, yeah. Uh-huh, uh. -huh. uh. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. What do I do here? Uh, duh. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Why is there dynamite here? Uh, uh. uh. Why did he put dynamite here? Ah! Ow! Uh -huh. No! Ow! Uh -huh. uh. Like this. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah. Uh. Um. Wow. Oh. Ah. Uh. 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 Carry this back home. Mm. Someone's flying a ship a little too low. to deal with whatever's going on out there. Shenanigans? Or what? Uh, uh, hopefully just some shenanigans and not something that I need to be uh, dealing with. I'll just keep an eye on the uh, neighborhood watch uh, messages. Um, Fair enough. Hey, so, um, 
I know it's kind of really random to be kind of like calling, I mean, getting in contact with you to just ask you something, but just, um, okay. so what does, what does Halloween mean to you? Halloween mean to me? Mm-hmm. What's brought this up? Um, um, well, whenever it's October, um, my, my powers tend to get, um, weaker, uh, exponentially weaker, and when, and when they get to Halloween, it's, it's at its weakest, and it stays there until Day of the Dead. And afterwards, it just starts coming right really? back. Really? Mm. And, hmm. and the, so the reason why I'm asking is because I'm just wondering. If there's maybe if I just figure some more stuff out about Halloween. Maybe there's a way I can sort of. Mm. Um, maybe there's a way, some kind of loophole, something I can sort of help manipulate. Uh, my my contract in a way to make it so that it I still have some kind of powers or at least rather strong powers. And, you know, okay. you, you, you've seen me pulling out trees before, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not ripping the trees out of the ground. I'm rather the trees is actually completely intact, including the roots and all are in there. Mm-hmm. And it's. It's just kind of me kind of manipulating the whole delivering a Christmas tree thing. So, <sighs> so I've just been wondering if maybe there's something with Halloween that I can probably, I could probably be, I don't know, if, if I just hear it or just think about it, maybe it could be the, like a, like a, like the trigger that I need to be able to use powers in, in, in October. That's fair. Mm. Um, for me, what Halloween is, I know it's kind of goofy in the sense of things where it's like, it's weirdness all around, but for me, it's the time of season where the more spooky weirdness is able to come out with no one blinking an eye. So the things of, like, the more spookier aspects of things. Mm. I mean... It's a time where, I mean, yeah, fall time is often t uh, a season where things start decaying and such like that. But it's kind of just in a sense of... it. For me, it's acceptance for the fall stuff. Hmm. Uh, acceptance. But... Uh... Like, accept like, acceptance that, you know, life, the whole life cycle stuff? Yeah. Hmm. That's... I mean, we're not all immortal. I know a few friends who are immortal, and some folks who regret being immortal, in a sense of things. Mm. And I know that I there's going to be folks around me who will pass in some sort of fashion. Mm. It's heartbreaking, yes, but it's how things are. Mm -hmm. So. It's a little bit of acceptance of that, but it's also acceptance of the more paranormal side of things for me. Uh, yes, it's funny in the sense of there's already paranormal stuff happening all year round, mm -hmm. but fall especially has a bit of a paranormal uh, presence. It's the time of year where things oh. that go bump the night seem to raise its head. Yeah, yeah, there is a lot of that, isn't it? Yeah, fall mm -hmm. kicks in, 
then comes October, and stuff with the Day of the Dead as well, and even mm -hmm. even Christmas itself, you know, has you know it's not as it's not spooky, but it's got its own you know other kind of spirits come in. Yeah, fall has its own spirits and entities that become active during the time. Yeah, December is. December, or at least, you know, the earlier part of December still has those spirits. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm hearing that the uh, skeletons in the graveyard are starting to act up recently. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not out yet. They're not out yet, but... They're not out yet, they're... but you can hear their bones rattling. Mm -hmm. You can hear their bones rattling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hopefully, yeah. Uh... But, yeah... It's not as, uh, like, yeah, with uh, December, it, the spirits that show up are more whimsical in the sense of mm -hmm. presence-wise. Well, the f entities in, like, oh. fall tend to have more of a spook to them. Mm. But... It's the time of year where spookiness comes out, and... It's, it's a fun thing, because... For me, it's fun because it's this whole situation of just... Yeah, there's gonna be scary shit. There's gonna be things that spook you in the night. There's gonna be things that are gonna give you a shiver of fright. But it's a time you to accept that in the sense of it's fall. It's time for spookiness to come out and go, Hey, I'm here. Hmm. Hmm. Some other people were saying that, you know, it's, for them, it's also sort of a time where people go around and, you know, wearing the costumes and such, but also just yeah. getting candy or setting up things to kind of spook people, and, or... It's a trick or treat, mm. basically. Mm. And... You're still giving something to other people. I mean, either it's candy or yeah, uh, and maybe a, a prank or two. Yeah, yeah. But you're also giving them a story, and yeah, you know, um, Christmas is also a time where you share stories, and Halloween has no different in that aspect. Um, yeah. yeah it's I just mean, a yeah, little the stories scarier. during fall spooky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's th there are similar reasons there's differences. Yes, uh, Christmas is more whimsical and, and focus on the gift giving and such like that. Um, personally, my thought progress is fall time and Halloween are times where being so weird, being so spooky, being the outcast is not a bad thing. It's a fun thing. Especially during this time. Mm. Mm. Because every year around, well, if you think about it, the rest of the year, the spooky shit, the spookiness of things, the things that freak people out, they're seen in a negative light most of the time throughout the year. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's exceptions like this town, but other places. Yeah. People don't want to be spooked. People don't want to seem like the outcasts or the weirdo in the sense of things. But fall time, that changes. Mm -hmm. That presence changes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember... What was the thing? I think I heard the... Um... I'm not sure. I think I might have heard the Pumpkin King once say something along the lines of Fright, not fear. Hmm. Yeah. So... Fright is just a little jump, a little spook. Mm hmm Fears are things... I mean, yeah, you can understand a fright. Fears tend to be something you don't really understand a lot of the time. Hmm. Fears are uncertainties, things that you are scared about. I mean, yeah, they're going to be terrifying uh, in a sense of... Hmm. 
if you do figure out them, but fears are just a response in the sense of you're scared of getting hurt. You're scared of something bad happening. Mm -hmm. And Fright, you, you don't understand what just happened there, but then you do get to understand soon after. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can understand fear as well, in the sense of, I understand I'm scared of this. Hmm. But why? That could be a thing you do not know. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I, I know I definitely, uh, I definitely am scared of the whole, uh, not having powers around that time and someone being hurt. Mm. I'm, I'm getting told... What I'm, the? Get, I'm getting told I need to be washing out maybe for... when I'm getting close to Halloween. Uh, it could be a chance the pumpkins around here... something might happen with them this year. Might act up? Yeah. I, it's Some... not... I, I mean, I, I don't have a concern. It could be Liz just messing with me, but... Mm. Uh, so it's not gonna be just the weirdness that happened last year? I mean, didn't know anything about that, so... Uh, the pumpkins were staying a lot more longer after fall. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice that. It was weird. It wasn't and until there, snow came And then there was the duck things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know some, some of them actually spat out poison, but... I don't know if that was because, like, someone, like... You know, Sides spat them out off. poison? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if that was they were just... You know, that's them hunting for food, or that was someone, you know, annoying them. I don't know. I kind of wonder if it's going to happen again this year. Mm. Mm. With the Land of the Dead thing, I could see... Well, Christmas is more giving to life, in the sense of, like... Cherishing loved ones. It's kind of the same for the Day of the Dead as well. But it's more remembering those who are past. Remembering those who passed. Hmm. Remembering those who passed. Ones that we don't see anymore. Ones that we can't hug or share stories with. Hmm. That day is kind of a sentence of a remembrance to those in the sense of keeping their stories within our hearts type of deal, making sure just having a cheerful time remembering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I'm kind of getting that. Of a breeze coming in right now. Yeah, definitely that picked up. Holy cow. No, it's, you know, uh, I was about to say it's just probably like, you know, uh, just some, some kind of storm coming. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> it's rainy season. It's still rainy season. Even, even if fall's coming yeah. in, you know, it's still rainy season. That's fair. That's fair. I'm probably due for another, like, a, maybe another hurricane in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like, another week or something like that. I think I was here on the news. Uh, I wish they wouldn't hit during the weekend. Like, when, like, you know, when we have a lot of free time, they keep hitting whenever we're, like, not busy doing stuff. <laughs> or maybe when, like, you know, when... The bad guys are trying to do some prob- or cause some problems. It would be nice if the storms just sweep them away. Mm. Uh, anyway, um... Anyone else maybe I could probably ask about this sort of stuff? Um... Truthfully, I'm not too sure. Mm. Um... Oh, okay. So how about this? What? Mm -hmm. What type of what type of stuff do you expect from? I guess. 
What type of elements do you expect from a season like, or a holiday like Halloween? Spooks and frights, um, a little bit of trickery in the air. Mm. Um, but types treats there. at hand. Illusions, but also mm. some treats at hand. Support, supportive Support. things also. Yeah. Oh. Because you're giving away candies. Sweets, as well. It's not just the spooks and frights and the pranks. There's also some giving. Yeah. Of candies. It is mainly uh, illusionary with the sense of the spooks and the spooky stuff and the prankster like element to the season. Mm -hmm. But you're still giving something, so there's bound to be some sort of supportive element mm -hmm. to that mix. Mm. Mm. Uh, kind of worried about the other potential things like. Uh... Necromancy. I'm not sure that's the thing I could Okay, do. necromancy. Well, that's probably. Necromancy is our photos. Hmm. That one's. I don't know if that would be kind of considered more. Uh, that would be. Uh, Halloween? More uh, for the dead? Depends on how you use it. Hmm. Necromancy is a little bit of a finicky thing. Yeah, but uh, I, uh, I, 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 I kind of hope that whatever this is doesn't, if whatever I can figure out doesn't manifest into uh, something like, very dangerous to a degree of hurting a bunch of people. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's good to attack the bad guys, but it's something else when civilians are involved. Yeah, yeah, especially well. To me, it's it's the idea of um, as someone put a neighborhood watch. It's more like the idea of conscripting people, even if they're dead. Mm -hmm. um, you know, pull uh, them out of the ground against their will feels a little weird. I mean, I, I suppose it could be like something could go to some. <laughs> I could probably use it around some kind of like a, a organ donor place, but uh it's Oh I'd be snickering if I uh, you send pulling out a pumpkin and tossing it because uh there's stories like the headman headless horseman. Uh mm. an NTD that Basically, um, it's from this one town. Headless horse. Oh. But it chases you down. Ooh. Uh-oh. Ooh, yeah, flux. Was, yeah. Ooh, that was a, that was a heavy one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, it's like, he chases you around with a pumpkin. Uh-huh. I don't think I like the idea of, uh... Um, also, I believe pumpkins are seen at, uh, like... Yeah, that's true. But I also... I think I remember hearing about how punk... Uh, like, a lit jack-o'-lantern is kind of a quote-unquote protection. I could be wrong about that in the sense of uh, ghosties. In the sense of bad spirits. Protection... I, I might need to research that. In the sense of things. Mm. I mean, mm. there's gonna be good things and bad things, like everything. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, yes, yeah, really majority of the entities. Something protected. Yes, majority of the entity. Well, okay, so Halloween was a thing where, uh, like, in the very old days when this whole old day started up, yeah. it was basically a fucking day to spook actual ghosts and goblins in the mm. sense of protection wise that's why people dressed up as monsters to scare the other monsters yeah <laughs> but that's more like it's not so much as you know that's not that's that's less 
you know, actual yeah. shields and stuff like that. It's more deception and... Yeah. Shadows? Yeah. Shadows. That's its own kind of magic, isn't it? Yeah, basically. So, shadows, illusion, um, supportive stuff, healing, I guess. Hmm. Healing. What else? If there's any plant life, I would see it in, as fall themed, in the sense of autumn leaves, mm. jack o' lantern, and, and so Food forth. Stuff. Okay, so nature, nature related magic. Yeah, because like yeah, even though even though the uh, seasons are nearly uh, is a dying state in the sense of things, it's still plants. The plants mm. are still important to us fall because it shows harvesting season, season where you, people gather the food for collection for winter, mm. making sure they have the supplies. We'll probably talk to Stega about that. Um. Do you know anyone that could that probably knows stuff about shadows, illusions, maybe, maybe some supportive stuff? Probably talk, I know who to talk to about. Uh, hmm? Sh shadows, huh? 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 Uh, I'm confused. What am I? Oh right, you're you turn into. Oh, oh, I'm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and there's also Cinnabel as well. Uh, oh, wait, Cinnabel too? Cinnabel um, does a good amount of like shadow stuff, and I wouldn't doubt if he knew. Uh, if he uh, knew, I wouldn't doubt it if he knew some illusionary stuff on top of it as mm. well. Mm. Um. Huh. You think, um, I, um, can you get me in contact mm -hmm. with Cinnabel then? I easily set up a date time for us to, like, meet up and go and talk. Okay, yeah. Um, when do you think that can, you know, how soon do you get something like that going? Um, I can, uh, I mean, I can probably contact him now in a sense of things and see what days are he's available on. And we can, uh, go from there. Okay. Yeah, I'd I'd, mm. I'd I'd really appreciate that. The sooner, okay. the 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 oh. <clears throat> the sooner I get to that, the, the, uh, the sooner I get to that, the the the, the better. Since I, just I, preparing I, yourself for the uh, fall season, basically. Yeah, basically. I just I just mm -hmm. it's just really important that I get through um, October, you know. Especially since, you know, I. It's only two more years before I'm officially an adult. I just want to make sure that I will actually get to make it to that point. And That's fair. October's always the weakest, my weakest part. So. Mm. I'm making sure I'm protected. I mean, I know I can rely on everyone else, but. You want to make sure that you're well rounded if there's no one around, sort yeah. of deal. And I mean, that's fair. That's reasonable. I mean, at, I mean, I guess at this point, since I've been asking, asking around, at this point, it's I'm already getting help from other people like this just by asking. Yeah. Okay. No harm in asking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, just do let me know as soon as, as soon as you can about, uh... I'll message you back if, uh, when I get a response from Sin. Mm -hmm. On, like, what days would be good, and such like that, and you can go from there. Okay. Um... Thank you very much. This... This actually... Well, I'm hoping this ha is gonna help. I'm... You know, I am kind of going around this a little bit blind. I'm, I'm, That's fair. I, I Trying out something new can be 
spooky experience. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I kind of don't really want to, um, you know, double dip. I'm, I'm, I'm a contracted, you know, contracted magical. I don't want to be yeah. going to something else. But I also can't talk to my magical familiar to ask them about how to find some other ways around. So, you know... Possibly seeing if we can get some items or something in the sense maybe, of maybe something some, on like your sleep, your sleep. Some items or just maybe uh, something that can manipulate. Like, like I said, trees. I, I can pull out a lot of things and, and stuff like that, but it all comes from just me trying to deliver, me supposedly delivering a Christmas tree. So, if... do you have that mindset when you uh, do so? Yeah. I'm curious if it, uh, is, um, if you can get away with, like, pulling out something like a pumpkin or something like that in the sense of thinking you're delivering a pumpkin as a gift. Yeah, but I can't make something appear that doesn't, that doesn't already exist. Oh, okay. So it needs to be around you. Mm -hmm. uh, Although, I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, there is the, there is the Christmas bag. I do have my Christmas bag, but because my magical familiar hasn't been around, it was not around when when it suddenly appeared in my hand. I, I'm, you're still trying to figure it out, then. It's more like I'm scared that I might pull out something extremely dangerous, and you know, it's gonna hurt others. Have Have you experimented and see the full? Uh, Length of how the bag goes? Mm. I'm too scared to do that. It's... I mean... It's just... I've heard some... You want... I just heard some stories. For some girls, it's... You know, it's instinctive for them. Like, they know what they are, what they can do when they, like, pull it out or, like, like yeah. want something. Uh, but for me, all of my stuff, like, I didn't know what I could do. I'm, I'm one of those who has a contract where... I don't know instinctively what I can do, it's just... Have you pulled anything else from the bag? I haven't tried it. No? I... Okay. The most I've used it was actually just a weapon to swing around at some point. Okay, so... If you want, we can set up a... With Cinnabelle, we can probably experiment with the bag a little bit uh, as yeah. well, because you know how sturdy and steady Cinnabelle is. Yeah. We can find a good place away from like any towns or people, and kind of just mess oh. around and see what the properties are. Um, it's it's just it's not so much just like you know he's sturdy. Maybe he could be sturdy, but just I guess maybe training my my brain could probably help a lot too. Um, yeah. I there's a I get a lot of intrusive thoughts, and huh? I know intrusive thoughts can affect some abilities and some things, and I'm just worried that it can get in the way of me using the bag. And what intrusive it, thoughts? May I ask? It's just whatever. It's intrusive thoughts. It, it, Textbook definition of intrusive thoughts. Just, you know, just. I mean, what type? In the sense of self-doubt. Well, what are they saying? In the sense of thought-wise. Everything. It's just everything, basically. You know, the stuff that you, okay. like, you, you see. The sharp object. There's an intrusive thought. And there's a test that's got to be done. And there's an intrusive thought there. Someone do says something in a weird way, and you're just not really sure. What is intrusive thought? Mm. It's, it's everything. Mm. I just don't want that to kind of... <sighs> People tell me things like, good luck, or, you know, hey, this will give... Uh, like, maybe, maybe you'll be lucky, and whatever, and I... I try to do, to do what I can to get around luck. I I don't know if I have good luck or bad luck, but I don't want to rely on luck at all. 
because that's fair. Luck is an unpredictable, yeah. unpredictable thing. Yeah, and <laughs> you know, if I keep thinking too much about luck, you know, there's just gonna be at some point it's gonna be a rash of bad luck, and you know that can affect yeah. that can affect the mind and. Um, I'm not sure, but I might be also one of those contracted girls that, um, if our emotions get too far mm. in the critical point, um, and something might, 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 be, something bad might happen. So, ah. yeah. Um, sorry, what were you going to say? Hmm. Kind of word uh, incidents of things, mm. but I know you went for making sure everybody's okay and such. But I do know that there's going to be things out of your reach, things that are unpredictable, uh, things that you would kind of can say luck kind of got effect on but mm. it doesn't mean everything is your own actions and your own words those are caused by yourself mm. outside sources from you yeah they're gonna be unpredictable they're gonna be things that could happen mm. You could be in one location while something else happens across the town and you couldn't be able to do anything about it until you get there. Mm -hmm. Things like that can happen. Things like that occur. I know, I know, I know. That's, but, that's like one of the first things that you have to kind of, I guess, have pounded into your head about, you know, being a hero and stuff. Hmm. You can't be there for everyone. But... Yeah, and it's kind of a... Summer situation with luck. And you can mod uh, modify it as much as you can with your own. S okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's an interesting group of folks. Uh, yeah. <sighs> But there's going to be things that are going to just happen on, happen on them. Mm. But it, it's going to be lingering there. Late uh, fate, lady luck. Those things are still in the air and you can't just get rid of them. But acknowledging the fact of like, yeah there. I'm gonna have to deal with this bloody thing every so often, but as long as I do what I can do, and what I can, uh, control, I should be good on yeah. my own terms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard to... Oh. <laughs> Bless you! Uh. <laughs> Bless you. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Uh, uh, um. Um. Thank you. By the way. Um, it's no problem. If you need more questions, I'm willing to answer the best of my abilities. Mm -hmm. uh, I. I hope that this actually is going to help me. I'm just, I mean, I want to. I want to. Yeah, I wanna, I'm, I'm going to say that I believe that this definitely will help me. I just, you know, need some time to. It may out. help you in different ways. If it doesn't go to one or ways, it could still help you in another. Mm -hmm. Although experimentation do, and such like that. Although I do like the idea of uh, what you said about like you know pumpkins, like. I kind of hope that, you know, maybe I could pull out pumpkins, because that means that I could maybe make some, uh, some pumpkin spice latte stuff. Yeah, that could be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Mm. Okay. I... But if it doesn't work out, you can. Uh, that gives you a platform still on figuring out what works and what doesn't. It's not going to be you know, the total end if like things don't work. Yeah, yeah. You can easily look at it and go, okay, so that doesn't quite look work. Let's see if we can do something else to mitigate this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I I need to get going home soon though, cause I got some homework okay. to do with. And I'm hope That's I'm fair. hoping nothing gets in the way when I you know head home. But uh, thank you very much. Who knows with this place? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, yeah. I I on the blessings and curse of Land Osaka, everything kind of goes on in a certain degree, and things can be. Really well, unpredictable. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's that, but, like, for for most everyone else, like, you can just ignore it. Uh, for someone like me, I'm part of Neighborhood Watch. Yeah, you can't really just ignore that. Yeah. I, I help, well, I, what I do helps people be able to ignore things that would, you know, could hurt them or be troublesome. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna take it off, so. Okay. Have a good, uh, night, Patty. You too. And be sure to let me know as soon as you can. Box okay. to the bell. Oh. This does give some more insight. Hmm. So success. Understanding is kind of a passing Maybe passage. Hmm. Uh, Christmas doesn't really celebrate death in any way. Even though winter is kind of like the death month or death one season. Hmm. Spring is birth, summer is life, fall is transition to death or just getting old. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I wonder how much this would have been easier if I could just get in contact with the Pumpkin King. Hey! <laughs> hey! Where did they go? Ah. Mm. It's not even October yet. Hmm. I guess maybe the first step towards is learning how to avoid things like that. Actually, could the Pumpkin King even tell me anything about that? No, he'd probably just start saying something about spooky stuff. 